1854, Muller's pupil Helmholtz investigated hearing. Sound made something in your ear vibrate. So was it like singers making piano strings vibrate? Did different bits of your ear vibrate to different sound wave frequencies? Did sound travel at different frequencies? But it was when Helmholtz's pupil went on to see if electricity did the same thing that he kind of changed the world. What he wanted to know was, does electricity move? And if so, how? And if so, what does it do? So, thank you. Please observe, here we have a big spark jumping this gap. Thank you. Here I have a small wire loop almost completely joined. Now, I walk out precisely this distance. Now, please observe, this time there will be a big spark and a little spark. Thank you. Once more, a big spark and a little spark. Thank you. Exactly the same distance once again. Please observe, a big spark and a little spark. Thank you. Once more, precisely the same distance. Thank you. Heinrich Hertz, who did all this, found out that electricity goes out like ripples from the big spark, and the little sparks happen only at the crest of each of the ripples. In other words, once every wavelength. I said he changed the world with all this. Actually, he didn't. Whiskey did. Thanks to a beautiful Irish whisky heiress called Annie Jameson, you may recognise the brand, who eloped with an Italian and ended up here, outside Bologna, at the Villa Griffone. The villa, you'll note, sits on top of what is perhaps the least attractive mausoleum in the history of Mausolea, designed by that well-known architect Benito Mussolini for our hero, Annie's clever son, William who was inspired by a local physics prof to try sending electrical wave ripples across the valley here to his brother. All William really did was to take Hertz's little trick and make it go further. OK, here's the other end of the experiment getting into position at the top of a hill across the valley and setting up the receiver to receive. Well, that's what we all hope. He rigs up a tall aerial because that makes long waves that go further, and then he turns the current on and off three times. That's S in Morse code. Point. Now for the big one. Look. Here's the receiver disappearing over the hill with his gun. Now, here's the receiver waiting behind the hill with his gun. And that was the point of the gun to tell William the incredible news that his little electrical S's have gone over a hill. Well, after this, there's no holding William Marconi. In 1901, he gets more S's to go around something a little bigger. The Earth, from Cornwall in England to St. John's, Newfoundland, with the aerials held up by kites. <laughs> 